Welcome back to Yacht Addiction and welcome to another super yacht tour on the channel. The yacht behind me is a 2010 Hargrave custom raised pilot house. This yacht is listed for sale by Paul Hannum at United Yacht Sales. Paul is the captain of this super yacht and it has a very successful charter history and I'll show you why on the inside. But it would also make a fantastic super yacht for an owner to enjoy with their friends and family. This yacht is 101 feet long, but it feels much bigger on the inside. If you enjoyed these super yacht tours, please consider leaving a like on the video. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm more than you could ever know. And it will also allow me to gain more access to incredible yachts like this one. Let's get started with the tour. This yacht has space for eight guests and can accommodate up to six crew. We'll make our way on board through this side access door and step right onto the aft deck. You have this beautiful seating area with more than enough space to accommodate all the guests. There is a TV mounted up on the wall and then this area is a wet bar. So you have a sink right down here. In here is an ice maker. And here is a large refrigerator. Those steps lead up to the flybridge. And then down these steps leads you to the swim platform as well as the entrance to the engine room, but we'll check that out at the end of the tour. If we press this button right here, this will open up the door and we will enter the main salon. So out of the aft deck into the main salon, you're greeted by this huge space. There are seating areas all over the place and a large flat screen TV mounted on the wall. You have another small sink over here. And I really like the large windows that are on either side. Underneath this sofa, you have a ton of storage space, and I think you're all going to appreciate this. Forward of this living area is the formal dining area, where you do have a table for eight. And you can see all the glassware in these built-in storage areas. So if we keep moving forward, we will end up in the galley. This is a really large galley for a yacht this size. You can see you have some sub-zero fridges and freezers. You have two ovens as well as a four burner cooktop and a microwave overhead. There are two different sinks. And in this galley, you have a ton of prep space as well as storage areas. I like how the galley is laid out where the chef can be preparing food and then everything can be presented over here so no one gets in each other's way. Now down this staircase leads to the crew area, but we will check that out a bit later in the tour. Let's keep heading forward. Here's the day head.
And then an incredible feature on a 101 foot super yacht, which you don't normally find, you have the master cabin on the main deck. So you have a king bed in this room. A large TV mounted on the wall. And then an incredibly large ensuite. You have his and her sinks, a little table right here, and a large walk-in shower stall. Through this door is the cedar lined walk-in closet. So now we're gonna head downstairs and check out the other cabins. We'll check out the VIP cabin first. And this is one of those great features that make this yacht awesome for charters. You actually technically have a second master cabin. So you have another king bed your TV up on the wall. There's closet space on either side. And then this stateroom actually has a his and her ensuite. So you have a sink and toilet on this side. And then I think we'll just step straight through into the shower. And we can step all the way through to the opposite side. We have the exact same layout on the other side. So this cabin is technically a little bit bigger than the cabin on the main deck. So if you own this yacht, you have the personal choice of which one you want to be as your master. That's one more reason why this is an excellent charter yacht. Because you have the two master cabins, if there are two couples that are chartering the yacht, there's no fight or negotiation over who gets the master cabin. Everyone has a very large space and is well taken care of. So there are two more cabins to check out and they are on either side of this hallway. They both have their own ensuite, of course. So here is the configuration with the queen bed. The closet is right behind this door. And then of course, it has its own ensuite. I really like the floor and drain style on these yachts. This is my favorite style I've seen so far. And opposite of that, this is the exact same cabin, but it's configured in a different layout. So you have two single beds in this cabin. However, you can push these together, forming a queen size bed. So it's a very versatile space. And this one has a slightly larger ensuite. It has a huge walk-in shower. And like I said, this is my favorite drain type on these yachts. There's also some built-in storage underneath these beds. Now, like I said, we are gonna check out the crew quarters, but before we get there, there are two pretty good size storage closets right here. And behind this beautiful wall, you actually have a laundry room. It's neatly hidden away.
Obviously, this space is a fantastic storage area. So there are two ways to access the crew quarters. One is through the galley stairs that I showed you earlier, or you can actually make your way right through this hidden door here. This setup is really great so the crew can take care of the cabins without having to go through the rest of the yacht. One thing I notice in the crew area is the materials are the exact same that you find in the other areas of the yacht. Hargrave did a really good job of keeping this area really high-end looking. The captain's cabin is right here, where you have a double bed. There's a pretty good sized TV mounted, and of course, their own ensuite. Once again, you'll see all the same finishes as you do in this ensuite, like you would in any other area of the yacht. There are two more crew quarters, and they are identical, so I'll just show you one. Once again, very impressive for a yacht that's only 101 feet. You don't feel claustrophobic in this crew quarters at all. And of course, it has its own ensuite. Once again, it's a pretty good size. So heading up these stairs will bring us back into the galley. You can see you have your electrical panel right here. And there's also a side access door that leads you to the bow. So we're heading back through the galley. and we'll make our way up to the pilot house. You have a really large L-shaped seating area, so the crew or guests can hang out here while the yacht is underway. You can see you have some multifunction displays with your chart plotter, radar, your depth finder, all kinds of useful features on the yacht. You have some engine monitors, and your camera system. Here are your throttle controls. These control the multifunction displays. You have your VHF radio, your autopilot control, and the bow thruster. Over here is a computer for the captain. And then this is actually a remote control system. This will plug in in different areas on the flybridge as well as the aft deck. So the captain can't control the yacht using this remote control system. They don't have to be in the actual pilot house. And you have this really lovely large steering wheel. Overall, it's a very clean looking pilot house with some pretty big windows, so you have great visibility. If we push this button, these stairs will actually lead us up to the flybridge. Now up on the flybridge, you do have this protective screen that blocks out the wind, but you can of course remove this. You can also open up this soft area of the roof. Really opening up this flybridge so you can enjoy the weather on a lovely day. Here is the second helm station where you have a redundant set of controls. Over here you have a lovely bar area. It's covered right now but you can see there's a TV mounted up on the wall. You have another ice maker. 
some storage, and another refrigerator. And of course, a small sink. This bar area serves this incredibly large wraparound seating area. It's another fantastic place to sit out in the sun. If the weather's nice, you could have a nice meal up here. And if we move on back, you'll see that this super yacht comes with a jacuzzi. It's currently covered with this pad. So when it's covered, this area makes a fantastic sun pad where everyone can lay out and enjoy the sun. You have a built-in grill right here. Underneath here is an elliptical. And then you can see there's a wave runner as well as your tender. And right behind the tender is the crane, which will release these into the water. Now this tender will convey with the sail, but when you charter this yacht, you also are chartering a 32 foot Grady White dual console. This is a tow behind tender and it's fantastic for diving or other water sports while you're out on your super yacht charter. This flybridge is obviously massive and it seems like a really fun place to hang out while you're on this yacht. So let's continue the tour and head down to the engine room. These stairs led us to the aft deck. There is a hatch in the floor that will grant you access to the engine rooms. But if we step down to the swim platform, we can open this up So a couple things to point out down here. There is another day head back here. There's an additional fridge back here for extra provisions. And you have a very clean workbench slash workstation over here. You can see a vise is mounted, as well as a really nice tool chest and all this extra storage area. Through this door are the actual engines. This engine room is so clean and so spacious. You can see the hatch I was talking about above as well as the drop down ladder that accompanies it. This yacht comes with a pair of Cat C32s. They're 1,625 horsepower each or a total of 3,250 horsepower. Your top speed is right around 20 knots with a cruising speed of 10 to 12 knots. And you'll get about 900 miles of range at that 12 knot cruising speed. You can definitely go longer if you drop lower into the single digits. So now that we've checked out the engines, I think there's only one more space we haven't seen yet. So if you look, there's actually not side decks all the way up. This increases the space in the main salon. If we open up this door, you'll see there's another side access door and they are on either side, forward and aft. 
So stepping forward onto the bow, you have a couple different seating areas, one right at the front of the bow, as well as another bench seating area right here. We're gonna finish the tour right here on the bow. Thank you so much to Paul Hannum and his team for setting up the tour. This listing will be linked down in the description below if you wanna see this vessel in more detail. Let me know what you thought of this super yacht in the comment section down below and make sure to subscribe so you never miss a future upload. Until next time.